Hey friends, did you know that the food we eat is like fuel for our body? Just like a car needs petrol to run, our body needs the right kind of food to stay active, strong, and happy. Quote, what is a balanced diet? A balanced diet means eating the right mix of different foods, carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals, plus roughage and water. Carbohydrates and fats are our energy-giving foods, they give us the power to run, play, and explore. Proteins are our body-building foods, they help us grow and repair our body. Vitamins and minerals are our protective foods, they keep us safe from diseases and make our bones, teeth, and eyes strong. Quote, importance of roughage and water, roughage or fiber, helps our tummy work well and keeps us from getting constipated. And guess what? Our body is 75% water. Water helps us digest food and throw out waste. So, drink enough water every day to stay fresh and healthy. Why balanced diet matters? When we eat the right food in the right amount, we fight diseases, grow strong and smart, keep our energy high, maintain a healthy weight, and even keep our eyesight sharp. But remember, too much of any food is not good. Even ghee, butter, and cheese can be healthy if eaten in small amounts. So friends, next time you eat, fill your plate with colorful veggies, fruits, grains, and proteins. Stay healthy, stay active, and keep smiling. Now, we will learn the, how our digestive system works. Did you know the food we eat doesn't give us energy right away? Our body has to break it down first. This amazing process is called, digestion. Let's take a fun trip inside our body to see how it works. Our digestive system is like a teamwork of organs the mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, liver, gallbladder, pancreas, large intestine, rectum and anus, all playing their special roles to turn food into energy. Digestion starts in our mouth. Open mouth smile our teeth bite and chew food into small pieces. Saliva mixes with the food to make it soft and easy to swallow. The tongue helps us taste and move food around. 2. Esophagus, food pipe. Next, the food slides down a long tube called the esophagus or food pipe. It carries food from the mouth to the stomach. 3. Stomach. The stomach is like a muscular bag. It churns the food and mixes it with digestive juices and acid. This breaks down proteins and kills germs in the food. 4. Liver. The liver is a reddish-brown organ. It makes a special juice called bile, which helps to digest fats. 5. Gallbladder. The gallbladder is a small pouch near the liver. It stores bile and releases it into the small intestine when needed. 6. Pancreas. The pancreas also sends digestive juices into the small intestine. These juices help digest fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. 7. Small intestine. In the small intestine, digestion is completed. Nutrients are absorbed into tiny blood vessels, called capillaries, and carried to different parts of the body. 8. Large intestine. The large intestine absorbs water from undigested food and forms semi-solid waste. The leftover waste moves to the rectum. 9. Rectum. The waste is stored in the rectum for a short time and goes out of our body through the anus. 10. Anus. Finally, the waste leaves the body through the anus. And that's the journey of food in our digestive system. Now, we will see the healthy eating habits. Do you know what helps us stay fit, strong, and happy? Yes, it's healthy eating habits. Some good habits are, first, always have a balanced diet. Don't eat too little, and don't overeat. Second, drink 8 to 10 glasses of water every day to stay fresh and active. Third, wash your hands properly before and after meals. This keeps germs away. Eat plenty of fresh fruits and vegetables. Wash fruits before eating, and wash vegetables before cooking. Always eat your meals at a fixed time. Chew your food slowly and properly before swallowing. Keep your food and water covered. This prevents diseases like diarrhea and cholera. And remember, no talking or watching TV while eating. Focus on your meal. Don't eat in a hurry or while standing. Sit down, relax, and enjoy your food. Use clean utensils and a clean place to cook and eat. And yes, avoid too much junk food like pizza, fried food, and burgers. Junk food has lots of fat and sugar, but very little nutrition. It can cause weight gain and tooth decay. So kids, let's follow these healthy eating habits every day, and stay fit, strong, and full of energy. Now children, let's talk about something really special, sharing food. Do you know what happens when we share our food? It makes people happy. It helps us make friends. It shows kindness. And it even helps reduce food waste. When we eat together with many people, it's called community eating. Everyone comes together to arrange, cook, and share food, 
Isn't that fun? In India, we have some amazing examples of community eating. The midday meal scheme gives free lunch to school children. This helps them stay healthy, attend school regularly, and study better. In Gurudwaras, we have the Langar, where everyone, no matter their religion or status, sits together on the floor, eats the same food, and shares love and equality. Thousands of people eat in a Langar every day. Volunteers, called Sawaders, cook the food, serve it, and clean up with a smile. What a beautiful way to help others. So kids, remember, sharing food means sharing happiness, love, and care. Let's all make the world a better place, one meal at a time. Now, let's learn about community eating. When a large number of people eat together at one place, it is called community eating. In such events, everyone works together. Some invite people, some arrange money and groceries, some cook and serve food, and others clean up after the event. Isn't that amazing? Community eating teaches us teamwork, kindness, and gratitude towards the people who work hard to arrange food for everyone. So kids, remember, sharing is caring, and eating together is always fun. That's all for today. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. Let's learn with MG.